In this video we're going to look at the difference between Corn Extended for IGCSE Mathematics, in particular the 0607 paper. To take into account the differing mathematical abilities, there is a choice between core and extended papers. The core curriculum in mathematics is within the ability range of the large majority of students. It provides a full overview of the subject and is targeted at students expecting to achieve grades C to G. The extended curriculum is made up of the core curriculum and an extended supplement. This has been designed for the more academically gifted in mathematics and it is targeted at those expecting to achieve grades A star to B. This presentation describes the extra topics which must be added to the core curriculum to produce the extended curriculum. All candidates, whether you're doing core or extended, will take three papers. Candidates who studied the core syllabus will be entered for paper one, paper three and paper five. And again, grades C to G. Whereas candidates doing the extended syllabus will be sitting paper two, paper four and paper six. And again, this paper only goes from A star to E. The core paper, paper one, is the same as the paper two in terms of the both non-calculated papers and the both run for 45 minutes and the both worth 40 marks. Okay, but for the core curriculum, this is a quarter of the final total mark, 25%, but for the extended, it is 20% of the final mark. Paper three, which is the calculated paper, the graphic calculated paper, course curriculum, this is worth 96 marks, and it runs for one hour and 45 minutes. It is weighted, same as paper four, 60% of the final mark. The extended paper runs for two hours and 15 minutes, and this is 120 marks, both use the graphic display calculators. And finally, we've got two investigation tasks. Paper five is the core investigation task. It lasts for an hour and 10 minutes and it's worth 36 marks. And this is weighted at 15% of the final mark. Paper six, investigation and modeling for the extended paper. This is an hour and 40 minutes and it's worth 60 marks. This is 20% of the final mark. And as you can see here, 172 marks overall for students doing core. 220 marks for students doing extended. So what are the differences? Well, all students will sit these 11 topics, number, algebra, functions, coordinate geometry, geometry, vectors and transformations, mensuration, trigonometry, sets, probability and statistics. And all students will be expected to have some kind of graphic display calculator, such as this um, HP Prime. But what I'm going to do now is break up these 11 topics, look at the extended curriculum, have a little look at the extras that are not on the core papers, but are added to the core papers to turn them into extended. For example, the first topic, number, we will add absolute value, um, X, to this to make it an extended. We will also add thirds, and we'll be looking at um, radicals and rationalization of the de denominator. For the second topic, algebra, Indices, derivations, solutions of simultaneous linear equations in two variables, expansion of brackets are not on the core paper. Also, um, in terms of factorization, we will only look at common factors for the core paper. Difference of squares, trinomials and four terms will be added to make it extended. And down here, solutions of quadratic equations is removed entirely for the core paper but added to the extended. And finally for the algebra topic, we will be covering simple geometric sequence for core, but we don't need to worry about the determination of its formula. And, similar, and, and direct variation proportion will not be included as part of core. For functions, there is a massive extension as you can see here. Recognization of the following function types, the shape of the graphs, linear, quadratic, cubic, reciprocal, and exponential, absolute values, trigonometric determination of the most two of a b and c and d in simple cases 3.2 finding the quadratic function given vertex and other points that's a massive chunk to extend this topic we're also going to add simplifying expressions we're going to look at inverse functions logarithmic functions and the rules of logarithms and uh, providing solutions in terms of topic four coordinate geometry we've added um, linear inequalities in the Cartesian plane, i.e. shading unwanted regions. 
in topic 5 geometry nothing in the first part but in the second part the use of area and volume scale factors also when we're talking about the properties of circles we're adding these three elements as you can see here for topic 6 we've added um, addition and subtraction of vectors negative of a vector multiplication of a vector by a scalar in terms of transformation we've added stretch in terms of transformations and uh, we're looking at inverse of a transformation and combined transformations of, of all being added for topic seven mensuration this stays the same the core and the extended are both exactly the same moving on to topic eight um, a massive chunk has been added again to the core curriculum exact values for the trigonometric ratios of 0 30 45 60 and 90 degrees um, also extensions of the four quadrants sine rule cosine rule and area of triangle also we're looking at the properties of y equals sine x y equals um, cosine x and y equals tan x have been added to trigonometry in terms of sets all that's been changed all that's been added to is rather than it being two sets for core we've added three sets for um, Venn diagrams with at most three sets probability topic 10 um, combined events has been added the addition rule and the multiplication rule this this is still in the core paper but it's only simple cases including three diagrams only looking at simple cases and the final topic statistics this largely stays the same but percentiles has been added to the extended curriculum and the use of a graphic display calculator find equations of linear regression has also been added to topic 11. tips for passing the exam and tips for choosing core over extended or vice versa so let's start by assuming you're already doing another seven or eight igcse subjects the revision will be tough right your journey to exam success should be as stress-free as possible it is going to take some careful planning on your part. You have the choice to study either extended or core level maths. This is hugely important as it will impact not just how much you have to study, but also what materials you need to cover, and we've just looked at this, and maybe even your final grade. If your grades in maths have always been somewhere between a C and a D, then maybe the core route uh, would be your best option. At the end of the day, it's all about when you receive your certificates. To see how well you've done obviously you've got some hard work in terms of revision and sitting the exams but when you come to get your results we want you to have done as as well as possible now in terms of maths and choosing core or extended as you can see here your certificate will include the exam board in this case cambridge and um, what type of exam the igcse your name when you took the exam the date the subjects that you've done and your grades now as you can see here for mathematics it doesn't matter whether you've chosen core or extended it will just say mathematics and the grade on the paper if you feel there's any kind of stigma attached to just doing core don't worry it just says mathematics sometimes it might say mathematics without coursework but generally speaking it will just say mathematics and give you your grade okay exactly so please have a think between now and when you need to sub submit your choice. It is easier to get the C grade on the core paper, generally speaking, but it's up to you. Good luck. I wish you every success. Thank you very much indeed for following the presentation. Bye for now.